Mountains, rooftops of the world, vast, majestic, inspiring. Ancient home of the gods, inhospitable to the human family and yet always drawing us to their grandeur. Ice! Ice! Mountains challenge our complacent assumption that the world was made by us, for us. Their sheer size dwarfs us. Up where the air grows thin, it's hard enough to scramble a living. Go too high, and they call it the death zone. And yet there's life in the mountains. Plants and animals. And people. Tough and resourceful. They found ways to live here, forging cultures that reflect the splendors of their surroundings. But down below, the world is changing. The delicate balance of life shifts. And resilient as they are, mountain people can't stand apart from the fate of the rest of the planet. From the peaks of the Korean Peninsula, to the Rhinzori Mountains of Africa, from the Alps to the Andes, from the Rockies to the Himalayas, this is the global story of humanity in high places, of mountains and life. So many parts of the world, throughout human history, to walk on a mountain is to walk on holy ground. In Korea, mountains have always had this challenge. Places apart, closer to the heavens. It's many hours before dawn on this hillside in South Korea. Something quite remarkable is about to happen. Buddhist monks have practiced their devotions on this sacred mountain for a thousand years. What they are praying for is a miracle. But it is a miracle that happens every day. Tonight, they are going to awaken the universe. First, they will wake the life of the sky with a bell plate called Unpan. This fish, Mokeo, will wake the life of the ocean. And with this bell, the Opko, the human world will awaken. Places on Earth display the contrast between ancient and modern as graphically as South Korea. Nowhere are they so close, yet so far apart. The South Korean capital, Seoul, subjects its 10 million citizens to a high-pressure urban lifestyle, fueled by a very modern economic miracle. 
but right on the doorstep of the metropolis is Bukansan, an ancient rocky summit rising nearly a thousand meters above the city's apartment blocks. It's a godsend for hikers eager to escape the stresses of urban life. Bukansan is just one peak in a mountain range which Koreans think of as the backbone of their country. Known as Baik Dudaiga, this ancient spine sweeps up the length of the Korean peninsula, ignoring the transient inconvenience of the demilitarized zone which separates capitalist South Korea from the communist North. This is a land where mountains matter, where a whole nation looks up to them as the source of its ancestral origin. According to Korean tradition, it was from the peaks that the gods descended to create this land. Devotion to Sansin, the mountain god, is still common here. 이제 신만이다 보면은 이제 산에 또 우상이잖아요. 또 산신이 예배도 계셔야 되고. The mountains themselves confer good fortune upon the villages they look down on. 전통적으로 우리나라에서는 산세가 좋아 인물이 난다 그랬잖아요. 그건 뭐냐면 산의 어떤 기운 이런 것들을 우리 인간한테 받고 있다. For all Koreans today. The mountains retain something that the new prosperity and excitement of the city cannot match. Something closer to who they really are. 하늘을 나르는 기분이고요. 온 사방을 다볼수 있어 갖고 너무 행복합니다. More than merely a symbol of the nation, they are the ground of its being, the place where a people under pressure comes to find its true self. 산은 우리가 한국말에 저 사람이 산과 같다 이렇게 표현도 있잖아요. 그런 말이 있는데. And because they run the whole length of the Korean peninsula, they stand as beacons of hope that one day this divided country will once again be united. 정말 가고 싶습니다. 내가 살던 고향이니까 그게 나의 꿈이에요. This is the story of what the mountains mean to Korea. Past, present, and future. Throughout the last turbulent century, these mountains have stood as guardians of a nation's soul. In 1910, Japan annexed Korea and ruled the country until the end of the Second World War. Then the peninsula was divided and ravaged by three years of civil war. Communism and capitalism fought a deadly battle for control. Finally, there was the miracle on the River Han the rapid transformation of South Korea into a global economic power at the cutting edge of consumerism. The country's economic revolution brought a generation of peasants out of rural poverty and into the big cities. But it also created pressures which by now are driving some Koreans back to the tranquility of the mountains. Choi Sun Ho is one of them. Here in the Jirisan Mountain National Park, he's done something very brave. He's returned home to work on the land with his mother. 서울에 있을 때 23년간 신문사의 사진 기자로 있었어요. 한국에서 제일 큰 조선일보에서 근무를 했었고요. 들렸어요? 제가 부장을 마치고 부장을 할때그막 타이트하고 막 스트레스 받는 삶이 있었고. Choi Sun Ho might have had a high pressure job in the city, but he could scarcely have had a more demanding boss than his new one. 꽃다리가 이 꽃다리가 새카만 건 입은 거라고 해야 돼. 
그래요? 그럼 이거 이제 곧 비어야 되겠네? 지금 비야지 지금 비야 돼요? 날씨 잘안 드나 봐요. 막 뽑히네 내가 하니까. 그러니까 요령이 있어야지. 네. 어디 봐, 봐봐. 네. 이걸 잡고 네. 이렇게 하고 네. 이렇게 약간 좀 이렇게 힘을 줘야 돼? 아니 힘을 주게 해야 이런 식으로 네. 이걸 이렇게 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 당기려고 온게 힘이 들지. 네. 네. 아 그러네. <웃음> 음. 오늘 또 하나 배웠네. 그리고 음. 우리 아들은 배모는 음. 시간 걸리겠는데? <웃음> <웃음> 처음 뵌 <뵌가라>. 거라. <웃음> 아니야, 이거 금방 돼. <웃음> However stressful it is trying to live up to your own mother's standards, Choi Sun Ho is certain that his change of lifestyle has brought him huge personal benefits. 아, 이런 거 같아요. 그러니까 도시에서 산다는 거는 시계를 가지고 사는 거고 시골에서 사는 거는 시간을 갖고 사는 거라고 생각해요. 그러니까 도시에서는 그 챗바퀴 돌듯이 그 태엽에 감겨져 있는 시계가 막 돌아가는 거에 사는 거고 시골에서 살고 이 산속에서 사는 거는 내가 스스로의 시간을 통제하면서 사는 거다. 그래서 내가 사는 데 있어서 여유로움을 가져갈 수 있고 도시로부터의 그뭐 이렇게 압박감 이런 스트레스 같은 거를 전혀 받지 않고 내 마음대로 삶이 살지만 그 가운데서 또그 나름대로의 스케줄을 정해서 살수 있다는 편안함 이런 게 있는 거죠. Compared to high-tech businesses in the city, the rural economy is struggling. Small farms in the mountains find it particularly tough. So Choi Sun Ho wants to use his professional experience to help neighboring farmers market their crops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Yeah, yeah. He's hoping to form a cooperative. Yeah, yeah. 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 지금 농촌이라고 하는 게 사실은 생산을 해서 생산물은 굉장히 많아요. 근데 그거를 도시에다가 팔아야 되는데 그 팔로우가 굉장히 어려움을 갖고 있거든요. 근데 제가 와서 보니까 개별적인 농가들의 노력들은 굉장히 많이 하고 있는데 그거를 모아내고 하나의 브랜드화를 하고 도시 사람들과 소통할 수 있는 공간의 방법들을 잘 모르시는 것 같아요. It takes a little persuasion, but everyone signed up and ready to shake hands. There is one local business which is already flourishing, and there's a family connection here too. Choi Sun Ho's sister Yun Sil owns this establishment. She's also the chief cook. The restaurant is a vital part of village life, a social centre as well as a place to sit and eat. Koreans love their food, and Yun Sil sources everything that she can locally. Another fillet for the farmers here. Always keen to make certain that things are done properly, her mother is lining up the sesame leaves they harvested earlier. Soon, they'll be ready for pickling. Choi Sun Ho often pops in to lend his sister a hand. But today, he can't stay. His mother is ready to take him back to the mountain for another lesson. <laughs> this time, there are evening primrose seeds to sow. Before spring comes, the weeds will be cut down, leaving the evening primrose shoots to emerge. Choi Sun Ho's dream is that this mountainside, which the family owns, can become a place of natural therapy for others. 또 더더욱이 좋은 게 이게 지리산에 한 자리 굉장히 좋잖아요. 근데 여기에 이제 달맞이 꽃이 그 보름달이 떴을 때 만개를 하거든요. 그러면 이 온산이 이제 달빛을 받고 위에도 달빛에 노란색이고 아래도 달맞이 꽃이 피어 있는 공간들을 사람들이 와서 느끼고 그리고 치유를 받고 갔으면 하는 마음이고요. The family feels perfectly at ease on this hill. It's very close to their hearts, and with good reason. For Choi Sun Ho, after half a lifetime in the city, it's still home ground. I was born in the middle of the year. I was born in the middle of the year. I was born in the middle of the year. I was born in the middle of the year. 
그 아래쪽, 아래쪽으로 바라보면 제가 태어나고 자란 고향 마을이 보이고 마음의 고향인 것을 대표할 수 있는 이런 지리산이 어머니의 품 같은 곳이지 않는가 하는 생각이 들어요. 지리산, the mountain of the odd and wise people. But those odd wise people who return here are swimming against the tide. The economic boom has drawn millions away to the big cities and impoverished the human habitation of Korea's uplands. In most of the country, the traditional mountain village is now scarcely a memory. To experience what it was like to live in one, Korean school children have to come to a place like this, the Weyan Folk Village. 그 다음에 이제 요즘 젊은 세대들이 전통 문화를 접할 기회가 없는데 우리 마을에 와서 그 예절이라든가 이런 그 또는 제사 또는 뭐 이런 것 절하는 법 다도 이런 것들을 전통 문화를 배우고 하는 데 대해서 전통 문화를 보급한다는 자부심이 있습니다. The visiting children get hands on with some Korean crafts. Traditional candy making is naturally a big thing. But there's also a lesson in Punsu Jiri, the ancient geomantic rules for locating and laying out a village. The children learned that if the village had a river in front of it, it was likely to enjoy good fortune. And behind it, according to this open air version of Feng Shui, one thing was absolutely essential. え、전통적으로우리나라에서는산세가좋아인물이난다그랬잖아요그래서그건뭐냐면산에어떤기운이런것들을우리인간한테받고있다그래서우리한국에서옛날부터배산임수라해서뒤에산이있고앞에물이있
아주 잘 됐네 오늘 이번 수술. 네 날씨가 좋아가지고 음. 수라기가 조금씩 음, 좀 아주 좋아 잘 좋았어요. 아주 응. 여름이 아니라 날이 한부조했네. 너무 춥지도. 저희 술 드실 때는 맛있다고 하시는 분들도 있으세요. 근데 의외로 좀 어, 신가? 막 이렇게 말씀하시는 분도 계시더라고요. 저희 집에서 방에서 직접 손으로 이렇게 만든 술이기 때문에 그 온도가 사실 일정하기가 어려워요. 저는 맛있던데요? <웃음> 그림은 손으로 그리는 그림이 있고 마음으로 그리는 그림이 있어요. 뭐 산을 볼때 산의 눈에 보이는 것을 그리는 게 아니고 산에 주는 느낌, 내 마음속에 느껴지는 느낌 그것을 그림으로 표현하는 거예요. Heo Daljai is the grandson of the widely admired calligrapher and master painter w e j a i and his technique is typical of the school made famous by his grandfather. 우리 동양의 한국화에는 크게 두 가지가 있어요. 어, 사실적인 북중화 계통이 있고 사의적인 남중화 계통이 있어요. 근데 저 같은 경우는 사의적인 거. 그래서 어떤 산을 볼때 북중화 계통에서는 산의 모습과 똑같은 색깔과 눈에 보이는 걸 그리고 우리 남중화 계통에서는 산이 주는 느낌, 그 색깔, 그 눈에 보이는 것보다는 내 마음에 보이는 그 느낌을 더 중시해서 그린다고. 네. Weejai, Heo Daljai's grandfather, was trained in the classical Korean tradition of illustrating poems. His work brought together the so-called three perfections, poetry, painting, and calligraphy. Korean calligraphy is a fine art. Typically, calligraphers draw on hanji paper. Hanji is a centuries-old product of the mountains. It's made from the bark of the paper mulberry tree, which thrives on Korea's hillsides. In this traditional process of manufacture, the hanji paper coagulates in sheets from a wash made from the bark. Ten layers of the pulp are laminated to form a single sheet. So hanji paper is remarkably durable. Traditionally, it could be used as furniture and even clothing such as these fine dresses. It's said that a dozen sheets of top quality hanji could stop a bullet. But its main use nowadays is for calligraphy. The art has a proud place in Korean history. Calligraphy competitions are held to honor the great Emperor Joseon in the shadow of his statue, right in the heart of the capital. It was at Joseon's direction that scholars devised this bespoke alphabet for the Korean language, a matter of huge national pride. Weejai's calligraphy and painting made him famous at an early age. But fame wasn't to his taste. He retreated here to the woods of Mount Mudiongsan and was reborn as an enlightenment thinker and enthusiast for the mountains. 
이, 저, 이 장소는 의제 선생님이 그 해방 후로 이 저기에 들어와서 어, 작업을 하시고 또 농민 운동을 하시고 또차 운동을 하셨던 장소입니다. 무등산이란 데는 다른 산하고 달리 이 엄마의 품 같은 산이라 그래요. 그래서 다른 어떤 경치 좋은 산은 돌이 많고 어, 악산들이 많은데 이 무등산은 무덤덤한 산이에요. 흙이 많고 그래서 특별한 모양이 없이 꼭 어떤 곡선을 하나 둥그런 곡선을 이루는 산이죠. 그래서 사람 마음을 편하게 해준, 해준다고 해요. Mudeongsan inspired many of Weijai's most famous paintings. Some are on display in this purpose-built gallery at the foot of the mountain, together with canvases by Heo Daljai and other artists. This classical sequence by Weijai depicts the journey of a scholar across Mudeongsan's changing seasons. For Weijai's grandson, it's a masterpiece of tiny human detail within the big, broad theme of nature's grandeur. The twin focus is something that distinguishes this tradition from European art. In the Chinese culture, the nature of the sky is usually in the middle of the sky. The sky is usually in the middle of the sky. So, the sun is in the middle of 다 보면 화면 전체가 독서를 하는 표현을 독서하는 사람을 그린 게 아니고 자연 속의 달 아래에서 집 조그만 집 안에서 그 안에 조그만 그 선비가 책을 읽는다. 이게 이 주제죠. 이게 동서양과의 차이점입니다. Weijai's legacy is not just in his own work, but in the art of many others who came to this mountain to be taught by him. 어, 제가 살아가면서 살아계실 때는 어떤 어려움에 부닥치면 질문을 물어보면 됐잖아요. 근데 돌아가시고 나니까 물어볼 데가 없어요. 그러니까 항시 그런 길이 어려운 길이 생겼을 때는 의지, 할아버지의 그림도 보고 이곳에 와서 다시 생각을 해서 어, 그럴 것이라는 답을 얻고 또 행, 어, 다른 행동으로 옮겨 갑니다. If there is wisdom to be found on Korea's mountains, it isn't just artists who come to seek it. Climbing to a pinnacle offers a special perspective on life down below. And for many Koreans, mountaintops can be sacred spaces. Devotion to Sansin, the mountain god, is a traditional part of shamanism the ancient ethnic religion of Korea. Buddhists too venerate Sansin. Herbal therapist Lim Byon Ho is praying for good fortune. Today he'll be venturing out onto Sansin's territory to replenish his supplies of his most valuable medicine, wild mountain ginseng, known as God's gift for its healing properties. 이제 신만이다 보면은 이제 산이 또 우상이잖아요. 또 산신이 옆에 또 계셔야 되고. 음. 옛날에 이제 뭐 신만이들은 산에 갈때 음? 목욕제기 하고 일주일 동안 하고 뭐 음? 거기서 절을 하고 몸가짐을 하고 난 다음에 이제 약초를 캐러 댕겼잖아요. 이제. 그리고 이제 그래서 그래서 이제 옆에 또 산신분을 모시게 된 거고. This mountainous district of Daegyusan in the center of Korea is one of those most affected by the rush of people away to the city. It's quiet here now. Too quiet for those who've stayed. Lim Byung-ho meets his brother at their mountain shack. The famous ginseng grows in the nearby woods, but finding it is a real skill and the ritual cleansing and prayers performed beforehand play their part too. 하루에 뭐 이틀에 요 하나도 못할 수도 있죠. 뭐한 달에 못할 수도 있고. 어, 만약에 뭐 몸가짐이 좋고 잘하면은 하루에 뭐 
뭐 거짓말 보태면 뭐, 뭐, 50개, 100개도 캘 수가 있고, 석달 만에 또 요런 거 하나도 못캘 수도 있고, 그건 저도 장담을 못 하는 거지. Today there's some good fortune to be had, but digging for ginseng teaches you one virtue above all others: patience. 요 정도 클려면은 씨가 떨어져 갖고 한 7년에서 한 8년 정도 자연 집화를 하기 때문에 시간이 오래 걸리. 굉장히 한촉 터는 데만 해도 한 3년 이상이 걸리니까. 근데 우리는 뭐 이거보다 더큰 걸로 이제 보로 당기니까 요런 거는 그냥 놔두고 커라고 놔두고 다른 곳으로 한번 가볼게요. Forbearance and perseverance. It's such a contrast with the promise of instant gratification which tempts so many young people away to the bright city lights. 그렇죠. 요새는 이제 뭐 기농, 뭐 기촌, 뭐 기어 이제 하는 사람들이 그런 사람들이 다 지금 뭐 일령대가 보면은 뭐한 60대 예, 저보다 한참 이제 뭐 대선배들인데 나가는 사람들은 뭐 지금 현재 뭐 일자리도 사실상 없고 다 도시를 선호하니까. 사실상 요새 뭐 젊은 사람들 뭐 시골에서 결혼도 잘못 하잖아. Success at last. This ginseng is big enough to treat a child. A valuable find, though it won't make anyone's fortune. And economic reality will continue to draw people away from the mountains. Lim Byon Ho knows that, but he has faith that someday the wind will change. 앞으로 뭐 젊은 사람들도 아마 이제 생각이 많이 좀 바뀔 거야 아마 사는 거지. 뭐 그런 걸 보. 바라지요, 뭐 그런 거를. 뭐 아마 그렇게 될 거라고 생각하고 있고. Though sometimes suppressed, Buddhism has been highly influential in the formation of Korean thought and culture. Nowadays, Christianity has overtaken it as the single most popular religion here. But Buddhism remains strong in Korea's upper. Many of its temples and shrines are located high in the mountains. One of the most beautiful stands at the west end of Mount Jogyesa. Its name, meaning heavenly rock or immortal's rock, comes from a legend that a heavenly being once played a game of Go here. This is Sionamsa. 서남사가 이 지역에서는 아주 명승지고 또산 자체가 이쪽 근처 근방에서는 아주 명산입니다. 높지는 않지만 어, 각 곳곳마다 계곡이 이렇게 흐러서 어, 협곡이 이렇게 절경이 이루어져 있고. For Dai Jin, the temple is like a mountain. It's always open to arrivals and departures. 산은 항상 그 자리에 그렇게 서 있는 것처럼 어, 절도 항상 그 자리에 그렇게 서 있는 것 같아요. 사찰은 우리가 흔히 가는 사람 안 잡고 오는 사람 안 맞고 산 또한 가는 사람 안 잡고 오는 사람 안 맞고 하는 거예요. Tonight, those who've come most recently to see Anamsa, the novices, are celebrating the ritual of awakening the universe, together with the ordained monks. Nightly observance requires discipline and focus. But letting go of worldly desire can be a long process. 제가 이제 막 출가를 해서 승려가 됐을 때는 음, 그 속세에 있었던 어떤 습관 내지는 또 어, 여러 인연과의 아픈 것 이런 것 모든 것을 생각하면 마음이 아프고 또 호, 호, 여기에 있을 때. 그게 너무나 해소가 안 돼서 처음에는 너무 힘들었어요. 제가 지금 현재 시점에서 
갖고 있는 마음은 어, 이 산과 그 다음에 이 산암사가 음, 저에게 그런 어, 뭐랄까 포용하고 참고 인내하고 또는 세상을 아무 마음을 텅 비우고 바라봐라 하는 그런 가르침을 저는 받았던 것 같아요. 예. Many masters are said to have practiced, taught, and attained enlightenment here. But sometimes it isn't quite so easy to find. 저쪽에서 다 일자야. 근데 여기서 보기 막 이게 찌그러져서 고기 좀만 그래. 다른 데서 다 봐도 이 일자로 됐어요. 저쪽에서 양 양으로 그냥 놓자고 이게 맞아. These monks are having a little squabble about whether the drum is hanging straight. 여기가 쳐졌지. 여기서 봐 수직을 봐 이렇게 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 좀 됐지. The sound of the drum is meant to resonate in the minds of sentient beings and awaken them to the truth. But of course it helps if it's aligned properly with the rest of the universe. The difference of opinion is attracting attention. But at last, equilibrium is restored, and the monks are ready for a sound check. Grasping after perfection isn't the Buddhist way. But the drum is plumb enough to awaken the universe again tonight. The monastery is nearly 1,500 years old. 30 monks live here, and about the same number of novices. They study Buddhist scriptures, meditation, and religious precepts. 이렇게 Lay people also visit Sionamsa. They take instruction from the monks and get a chance to refresh their spirits in the tranquility of the mountains. 어떤 산악인이 이런 말씀을 한걸 들었습니다. 왜 산에 가느냐 했더니 산이 거기 있어서 간다라는 말을 했어요. 그래서 그 무라 일체. 산 속에 내가 그 하나의 산이 또 되고 산이 또 내가 되는 그러한 느낌을 아마 한국인들은 많이 가질 겁니다. All Koreans identify with the chain of mountains which form the long spine of the peninsula. According to legend, the highest of them, Baik Dusan, was the birthplace of Dangun, the founder of the first Korean kingdom. 백두산에서부터 그 바로는 한 산맥이 백두대간이라 해서 우리 지리산까지 연결돼 있지 않습니까? 그래서 그 백두대간이 갖는 우리 민족의 정서 그리고 지금까지 5천 년 동안 이어오면서 살아온 산과 또그 산에서 생성된 작은 물줄기가 큰 강을 형성하듯이 그 산으로부터 갖는 우리 민족의 그 영험 뭐 이런 것들이 보이지 않게 알게 모르게 우리들 한민족의 그 정신사를 집에 왔다고 봅니다. 그 산이 갖는 우리 한민족의 그 정서에 산이 엄청난 영향을 주고 있다. 저는 그렇게 생각을 합니다. The mountain peace and tranquility of Siamamsa seems a million miles away. Bahali Bali, Hari Hari, is one of the most widely used Korean phrases. It refers to the stress and pace of business life. Every week, South Koreans work 20% longer than their American counterparts. But on the weekend, 
This subway station in the centre of Seoul will be bustling with a different kind of early morning train. 7 a.m. Saturday. Here in downtown Sinsa, the buses are lining up to dispatch the mass membership of the capital's hiking clubs. They're off to the mountains. For those trapped in the urban rat race, it's a hugely popular escape route. 동호회 제가 하고 있는 데는 해월 산악회라고 한 2만 명그 정도 되는데 저 같은 경우는 매일 해요 아침에 아침 산에 아침에 한 시간씩 동네 비슷한 아 건강 때문에 다닙니다 제가 나이가 이제 65인데 그 여러 가지 뭘 할까 생각하다가 산행이 건강이 최고 좋다고 생각이 돼서 산을 타게 됐습니다. But there's one thing that still causes stress for these city slickers. What to wear. If you're going to walk the walk, you've got to look the part. Ah, 등산 장비요. 그냥 그냥 하나씩 구입하는 대로 한 건데. 이거 등산 전문도 있지만요. 그냥 하나씩 개인적으로 마음에 들면 하나씩 구입. 옷이 마음에 안 들어. 빨 바빠서 그냥 들어가 있고. 반갑습니다. So it's Bahani Pai, Ari Hari, off to the mountains. And it's not just hikers who are swarming to the mountains. Coach loads of sightseers are on their way too. The number of visitors to South Korea's national parks has more than doubled in the last decade. And the trend is soaring at Nicholas. Within five years, the figure is expected to top 60 million. Every nation takes pride in its beauty spots, but there's something different about Koreans and their addiction to the mountains. Okay. For Seoul's 10 million citizens, Mount Bukhan is the quickest place to get their fix. Right on the city's northern edge, it's easily accessible by subway. On the weekend, it's jam-packed with hikers making fashion statements, head to toe, in pricey new gear. Ah, 이 친구 아른지는 20년 가까이 되고요. 산은 이제 또저 개인적으로 갈 때도 많고 또 친구 시간 있을 때 같이 가요. 여기 후배가 더 날팝니다. 비슷해요. 지금 이제 장갑 같은 경우는 이 스틱을 잡고 바위, 특히 북한산 같은 경우는 바위가 많아요. 그래서 이제 미끄러지지 않은 위치에서 하고 스틱은 내려올 때라든가 무릎 보호대 그런 이제 관절에 많이 도움이 되고요. 또 체중에 이제 저 같은 경우는 체중이 조금 나가지만 체중을 갖다가 많이 줄여줄 수 있는 그런 보온 보온 장치예요. It may be Saturday, and this may be entirely voluntary. But for these corporate executives, the boss is still in charge. 이렇게 좋은 기절에 가족들과 좀 보내고 싶고 아침 늦잠도 더푹 주무시고 싶겠지만 they're under strict instructions to wind down. 대신이가 모이겠습니다. 조별로 모여주세요. 조별로. This is team building Korean style, regimented relaxation. 일조, 이조, 삼조, 사조 이렇게 모여주세요. if the office workers are a little bemused about what they've let themselves in for this weekend, there are others who take their hiking really seriously. One, two, three, four. Koreans are schooled into being so competitive that it's hard to switch off even when they need to. The climb itself is in danger of becoming another race to the top. A test of fitness and technique, just as stressful as a long shift on the trading floor. The government's response is telling. It's launched a $10 million slow hiking campaign, urging workers to slow down when they head for the hills. Take time and breathe the fresh air. That's the slogan. But officials reckon it might take a decade or more for the message to sink in. Mm -hmm. 
Meanwhile, it's Bali Bali. You can't peek too soon. The crowds don't help. All day long, there's a long queue of people pushing past, eager for their chance to summon. It's hardly the place for quiet contemplation. But getting to the top delivers a sense of achievement, all the same. It may not be Everest, but for Koreans, this feels like the top of the world. And if solitude's your thing, a little daring takes you to the right spot. Afterwards, it's obligatory to celebrate. Climb hard, drink hard. With the traditional after party liquor, Matgeol. Whether it's celebrating a birthday or a serious sanctuary of a spiritual kind, mountains here are a refuge. They offer the prospect of peace of mind in a stressful world. But some Korean mountains offer a prospect of a very different kind. One that reminds everyone here how fragile is. This is the view from Egibong Peak. In the demilitarized zone, the DMZ that acts as a buffer between North and South Korea. Across the Hangang River is communist territory. It's almost 70 years since there was a out war, but today the two sides are scarcely any closer together. Ekibong has become a kind of tourist attraction. Civilians can come here by special arrangement for a tantalizing glimpse into what was once a part of their own country. This amphitheater takes advantage of the mountaintop view. It's used to tell visitors the story of the bitter conflict and its aftermath. There are reminders of recent incidents when missiles from the north have shattered the uneasy truce. Graphic proof that the two parts of Korea are still technically at war. But some who come here need no reminding of the history. Lee han -seol is one of the thousands of displaced persons, Koreans born in what is now the North, who have fled to the South. For him, what he can see from this peak has a terrible poignancy. The mountain on the other side stands above his childhood village. <laughs> The Korean War shattered this idol. Like so many others, Lee han -seol fled on a perilous journey south, leaving his mountain and his family behind forever. Uh, 
한강을 건넌 거죠. 참 힘들었어요. Safety and stability awaited him, but exile has left a mountain-sized hole in this 84-year-old's heart. 고향을 그립고 가족들을 보고 싶고 그건 말로 다할수 없지만 고향을 그리워하는 마음은 다른 사람들이 모릅니다. 나만이 알고 정말 가고 싶습니다. 내가 살던 고향이니까 그 나의 꿈이에요. 네. For centuries, mountains have been central to Korea's idea of itself as a nation. It was from the mountains, they say, that the ancient spirits descended to make this land. And in their own acts of creation, generations of craftspeople and artists have looked up to the hills and found inspiration. Like a mother's arms, they offer comfort and healing in the stresses of life. They are beacons of hope and tranquility in a troubled world. And for all its prosperity and sophistication, modern Korea still turns to the high places to find its true sense of itself. Whatever the future brings to this land and its people, mountains and life here remain bound together as strongly as they ever were.